Hi, Hiram here. Last week or so I re-uploaded a video that I did on this uh, cook kit back in 2008. I called it my version of a Volcano Stove Swiss Ranger kit. Unfortunately I think I got the name wrong. But what this was was back in my, these one of the first videos I ever did. And I had kept reading about this thing called a Swiss Ranger Volcano stove set. That's this. I don't know. I guess a lot of people have seen this. There's a lot of interest in it. Basically, it's got a cup with handles. Inside there's a water bottle with a cork. Really nice for heating up water. Nice, I guess it's aluminum. You always got to make sure you loosen the cork or it goes flying. And then there's a multi-fuel stove. You can burn wood, uh, alcohol, all kinds of stuff in here. Really cute, cool kits. But at the time I didn't have one and I wanted something like it, so I made my own. Now if you're interested in these, place I got mine from, I got a couple of them from this place called Cheaper Than Dirt. You can find them on the internet cheaper than dirt. And they have them for $9.97. I don't I think they may be on back order now, but if you're interested, you can go there and look. So anyway, what I had made was this. Basically, uh, comes in different parts. I found this milkshake mixing cup at Goodwill. I thought it fit in there kind of nicely. Now, if you don't, if you can't find these, you can very easily make this that a, a tin can goes in here. So anyway, that's the cup from it that I used. It opens up. I put the bottom, the burner in the bottom here to store it. Right now, it's got some alcohol in it, so I don't want it to throw around. But the can I I made by cutting off the bottom and the top with one of those side cutters so that you can put the lids back on to protect things. So I cut that open, punched holes in the bottom for air, a couple of holes, six holes here, so I have these little pieces of wire that I just bent one side of it down, and they fit in here to form like a uh, diamond shape. I turned down the one side to help hold them in. They kept falling out when I just used a straight piece of wire. Just like so. And then if you look in there, you can see there's a diamond shape so that the flames can come up through the middle and not hit the wire so much. Just like that. So then the cup fits in there like that. Air goes in the bottom, comes up, and there's about a quarter of an inch give way here, leeway, space, so that the flames and heat can come up and out. What I had used at the time was a little burner that I hadn't meant it for this. What I was trying for was to make a burner that I could put a lid on and keep it closed, just like the Trangia, as far as that you could have alcohol in here and have a load to close it down with. Uh, basically, it's just a candle tin that I melted the wax out, a bottom from a coddle, you know, one of those aluminum bottles. Now this one's cut a little short. The one that's in here, I think I cut it an inch and a half. But it just fits down in like that. To take up the space on here, I used exhaust wrap around this inside edge just to, I thought it would help keep the outside cool from the inside flames and I had punched a hole and used a uh, half inch end cap copper end cap drilled holes in it and what my thought was was that I put alcohol down in here <coughs> 
put some alcohol on this curved part and it heats everything up and flames would come out of these holes. I thought it hoped it would be a jet. But it turns out what happened was it must have, I cemented it all down with epoxy, but it must have leaked out enough that the exhaust wrap got saturated in alcohol. And what happened was the circle of the exhaust wrap lit rather than the jets. But still, I thought I'd give it a try on this back when I made oatmeal with it. Worked real well. But the purpose of this video is a number of people have asked me why didn't I do a, a boil time on this? Well, because this was back in the beginning. I didn't, you know, take notes and stuff. I was just happy to be able to make oatmeal in this. So what I'll do today is I'll do a little boil test. I have two cups of water here, setting at 59 degrees. I'll just pour that into the cup, which two cups comes up to about here. Now the lid, the top part of the can, fits on here pretty nicely to close this off to give me a little bit of a lid for on this. Again, if you just use another can in here, you could side cut the lid off that can and it would be your lid. You could also use, if you have them, a small trangia would fit in here. Just like so. You may need to put some holes up a little bit higher so that it would get more air, but it, it would work. Let me just light this, get this going. Okay, a little bit of a flame there, let it build up. Now, like I said, this was kind of one of those things that didn't work one way, so I used it another way. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ring of flames. There's a little bit coming out the cap, but nowhere near what I hoped would. The other thing I think that happens is the flames on the outside don't provide air for the flames coming up through that cap, so you just get the ring. Okay, so there it's going. I just put the stove on, the pot's in, that's hot. Let's put this in. Again, we have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Let me just put this in here. Start the timer. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210. 211. 212 in 8 minutes, 40 seconds. Okay. Now this might not be the fastest set in the world, but it's got to be one of the cheapest, I think. I mean, you make everything yourself. All it was was a can. Now thinking back on this, though, like I said, this was way early when I first started doing this stuff on for videos. Uh, I think these holes should be up and maybe more of them. Probably give me much more heat. That's warm. But you can see this puts out a decent flame. Although it's yellow, it's not a clear blue. But it doesn't soot. There's no soot on the pot. I don't know, can you see that? Warm. So anyway, I hope that helps with those that asked for this. You can go out and make yourself your own one of these real easy. Now another thing, when you do something like this, I'm going to put this out by putting the lid on it. But don't leave the lid on there. You've got to take it off until it cools off. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a vapor lock on this thing that you'll probably never get the lid back off with. But even that, I mean, uh, the candle tin was a dollar. I just melted the wax out. I just put a coddle bottom on the inside there, a little bit of tape, the exhaust wrap, rather. 
Now, this stuff is a little expensive. I got this from a buddy of mine years ago. He did a couple of exhaust jobs, I guess, and had some of this left over and asked me if I'd be interested in it. But I think this stuff is fairly expensive. But we could probably do the same thing using carbon felt in here. Just, sorry, get, get my ham hocks out of the way. Just, uh, you know, go around the inner edge with this, compressing it down in, cutting it to the right height, and you'd be able to go to town with it. Alright, so that was my version of the Volcano Stove Swiss Ranger kit, or probably should be said, my version of the Swiss Ranger Volcano Stove set. That's this thing. And for those of you that are interested, I'll put a link down below to Cheaper Than Dirt, to where they have them on their website, if they have them in stock for about $10. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.